Getting started with Swift River. During the recent Haiti earthquakes, Ushahidi, which maps reports of incident during emergencies, was overwhelmed with data. Tens of thousands of reports came in from Twitter, email, blogs, and the web, each report needing to be verified by humans. We were swimming in a river of information, clumsily and inefficiently. A number of tools are great at displaying large amounts of data, but they aren't so great at limiting how much info there is to look through. What if we listen to the crowd? And what if the crowd was the filter? Our problem then becomes, who in the crowd do we listen to? Well, using a number of core technologies, Swift can do this. Swift River is the filter. By scoring and rating the accuracy of incoming content, users can refine how they view results. Let's take a look. Here we have the Swift landing page. On the left we have incoming data, to the right we have our channel filter and our veracity slider. Don't worry if your instance has an empty data panel, this is because we haven't added any feeds yet. To start, log in. The default username is admin and the default password is also admin. After logging in, we're taken to the admin panel. Here we have a graph to the left and our quick stats to the right. In this version of Swift, a number of these options are disabled or have no effect, so let's take a look at the functioning ones. Select the option for feeds. When you click here, you're taken to a panel where you can add various types of feeds. Twitter accounts, blogs, email, phone numbers for SMS, and more. These are the native data types Swift can handle. For Twitter accounts, just enter the user's name. For blogs and other websites, enter the URL of the feed itself. SMS and email take some additional configuration that we won't cover here. Adding feeds here results in their showing up on the main page. If you check the box to the right of the input field, you're trusting that feed and giving it a higher authority than others. This means that by default it has a veracity score of 100%. Now let's click on settings. This is where administrators control most of the functions of the site. Your site name, tagline, language, default email address, and other options are displayed here. You can also control the number of items displayed per page. You can turn user submissions on or off, and more importantly, you can pair with Ushahidi. Entering the URL of a Ushahidi instance here automatically sends the submitted content in Swift to Ushahidi pre-verified. For heavy users of Ushahidi, you might immediately see the benefit of not having to verify reports twice. This allows our human curators, we call them sweepers, to use the two platforms synonymously. Now let's go back to our landing page again to cover a few more details. First, the veracity slider allows you to filter content based on score. If you don't want to see content that's predicted to be less than 60% accurate, just set your slider as such and click submit. Doing this allows you to focus on the sources you trust while removing anything that doesn't qualify. Finally, let's take a closer look at the individual feed items. The red submission box to the left is the trust button. Clicking it tells Swift that the attached content is accurate and it improves the source's score. If the content is inaccurate, noise, or cross chatter, you would instead click the red button with the X to the right. That button decreases the score of the source and removes the item from view. Clicking the newspaper icon next to this button takes you to the original content itself. You may have noticed an area that says tag. This is for adding contextual information to the content to help with sorting. On the item at the top, I've added the tags Kenya, e-commerce, and business because the Twitter user's message is about those things. Clicking the X removes those tags. In future builds, these tags will be auto-populated by Silk, the Swift language computation core. Users are rated, content is rated. The result is a system that sorts data by accuracy and earned authority as opposed to popularity. Swift makes it easier to wade through vast rivers of information. And now, hopefully you have a better understanding of Swift River.